In the shadows of history, where the tales of conquest and rebellion blend into the mists of time, there lies a saga of resistance and resilience that few have heard. This is not the story of great empires clashing in open battle, nor is it a tale of legendary heroes whose names echo through the ages. Instead, it is the story of a people's struggle for freedom, a narrative of forgotten wars that unfolded at the very gates of Siberia. As the 16th century dawned, the Russian Tsardom, hungry for expansion, turned its gaze eastward towards the vast and untamed lands of the Volga region. But what awaited them was not an unclaimed wilderness, but the home of the Mari people, known historically as the Cheremis. Proud and fiercely independent, the Mari were about to become the unwilling participants in a brutal saga of conquest and resistance. The Cheremis Wars, as history would remember them, were not singular battles, but a series of prolonged conflicts, a relentless struggle that spanned decades. It was a clash of cultures, religions and ways of life set against the backdrop of Russia's imperial ambitions. Our story begins in the mid-16th century, shortly after the Russian conquest of Kazan in 1552. The fall of Kazan brought the Mari lands under Russian control, igniting the fuse of resistance that would lead to the First Cheremis War. Between 1552 and 1557, the Mari fought valiantly against the Russian efforts to assimilate their lands, resist forced Christianization, and maintain their ancestral freedoms. Yet despite their bravery, the first wave of resistance was quelled by the might of the Russian army. But the spirit of the Mari could not be extinguished so easily. As the 16th century waned, another uprising known as the Second Cheremis War erupted in 1581. This time the conflict was fueled by continued Russian encroachments, oppressive taxation and the conscription of Mari men into the Tsar's armies. For three years, the forests and rivers of the Volga became battlegrounds until once again the rebellion was suppressed. The Third Cheremis War, spanning from 1585 to 1598, unfolded against the backdrop of Russia's time of troubles. This period of famine, political chaos and foreign intervention weakened the Russian state, offering the Mari a glimmer of hope. Yet despite the turmoil, the Russian resolve to dominate the region remained unshaken. The Mari employed guerrilla tactics, leveraging their intimate knowledge of the land to engage in hit-and-run attacks against Russian forces. But the might of the Tsardom was overwhelming. The rebellion was brutally crushed, and the aftermath saw the forced integration of Mari lands into the Russian Empire, the imposition of Christianity, and the erosion of Mari culture and autonomy. Today, the Cheremis Wars are a distant memory, a footnote in the vast annals of Russian history. 